wajane na familia ya ndugu yetu Nderitu Gashagwa Mheshimiwa Rais wa Jamhuri ya Kenya Mheshimiwa Uhuru Kenyatta Mama Margaret um, Rais wa tatu wa Jamhuri ya Kenya baba yetu Mwai Kibaki Mheshimiwa Raila Odinga former prime minister Mheshimiwa Munya chair wa Council of Governors ma governors walio hapa waheshimiwa wote viongozi wa kutoka sehemu mbalimbali ndugu marafiki na watu wa Nyeri hamjambo Moriega Ngaino Mwega Endesho the God is good and all the time <coughs> kwanza ningependa kusema na leta rambi rambi za familia yangu mke wangu na watoto kwa familia ya kiongozi huyu rafiki yetu mheshimiwa Nderito Gachagwa poleni sana kwa kumpoteza huyu kiongozi mimi nilikuwa hapa kama miaka miwili iliyopita nilikuwa nimetumwa na mheshimiwa rais kwa mazishi ya baba yake ndugu yetu Gashagwa na leo nimefika hapa ili sote kwa pamoja tuweze kumpatia mazishi yanayofaa kiongozi ambaye ni governor wa kwanza wa kaunti ya Nyeri Mimi nilipata nafasi ya kufanya kazi na mheshimiwa Gashagwa katika bunge wakati alichaguliwa eh, 2002 vile vile nilikuwa nimechaguliwa 1997 na hata ingawaje tulikuwa katika pande tofauti katika bunge tulipata nafasi ya kujumuika na kuongea na kupatana na yeye mimi nimefika hapa leo kama rafiki wa James Nderito Gashagwa I am among the people who will give a, te a testimony that in Nderito Gashagwa we had a committed and progressive leader I say so because part of the reason we succeeded in rolling out devolution not in three years as was expected by the law but rolling out devolution in a record one year it's because of progressive committed leaders like Nderitu Gashagwa who sat in the Council of Governors I say so because as chair of agriculture in the Council of Governors I remember we had many meetings with the president and him on matters to do with tea and coffee. And part of the reason why today the government of Kenya spends close to a billion shillings on matters to do with research and management of tea and coffee, having written off or eliminated CES and other taxes on coffee, is because of the commitment of Nderitu Gashagwa and his contribution even as we discussed as government how to reform the agricultural sector he made tremendous input and that is partly why the president directed that we remove all taxes on coffee and tea and that is why today the government supports all those institutions that were being supported by taxes before I therefore share in what has been said here by other leaders that indeed Nderito Gashagwa was a transformative governor and the people of Nyeri and the people of Kenya will miss his input.
while standing here na ningependa pengine niseme kwa Kiswahili Nirito Kashagwa amepatikana na ugonjwa wa saratani ugonjwa wa saratani ya makansa na magonjwa ya figo yamekuwa chanzo kubwa sasa ya vifo katika taifa letu la Kenya hata na mimi nilimpoteza ndugu yangu mdogo juzi kwa ugonjwa wa kansa na ndio sababu kama serikali ya Kenya tulianzisha mpango wa kuwa na screening machines radiology machines in at least every county there will there are, there are already two hospitals in every county that will facilitate the early detection of cancer because those facilities are now available that were not available in the past and it is important sisi zote tujue ya kwamba inawezekana cancer iweze kushughulikiwa we cancer is treatable we must not be coming to a funeral like this because of cancer the secret is that every kenyan must submit themselves to screening of cancer so that if it is found earlier it can be managed it can be treated and we can avoid the hundreds of thousands of people today in kenya who are succumbing to cancer and matters to do with um, renal diseases and i want to say we thank the governors for agreeing to partner with with us on the program that we rolled out now we have 92 hospitals around the country that have both renal and radiology uh, facilities in the country to help manage the new causes of death in our country na mwisho mimi nataka niseme ya kwamba tunawashukuru watu wa Nyeri huyu nderitu gashagwa was committed to a fault to this county na kumbuka wakati mmoja wakati mambo ya kuandikisha kura zilikuwa zinaendelea jioni moja wakati nilikuwa najaribu na, na kupata habari nini inaendelea sehemu gani nilipigia one of our pss from nyeri eh, nicholas na nikamuuliza mambo yanaendelea vipi nyeri akaniambia leo hata kashagwa aliongea na watu wake wote alituambia tukusanye watu wa county kwa hall ili aongee na wao kwa simu akiwa hospitalini London I have not seen that kind of commitment anywhere that he wanted to mobilize the people of Nyeri to vote or to uh, to register as voters even when he was sick in hospital that is commitment and that is passion for leadership that is not easy to come by na kwa hivyo mimi nataka niwaambie familia mmepoteza baba mmepoteza mzee wenu lakini pia tumempoteza kiongozi na rafiki ambaye tulishirikiana na yeye katika kuendesha mambo yetu ya Kenya. Najua alikuwa rafiki mkubwa sana wa Mwangi Kiunjuri na kuna kitu inasemekana right of reply. Kwa sababu Mwangi Kiunjuri amesema mimi ndio niliongea kule eh, Laikipia na mambo yakafanyika lazima nizaihishe kidogo Mwangi Kunjuri is my young brother na kweli tulienda laikipia na hiyo mandege ya anasema ndio ikaribia yeye maneno na hata ingawaje rais hakusema mimi ndio nilisema lakini mimi nilisema kwa kuambiwa haikuwa 
kwa sababu tulipofika pale nilimuuliza ndugu yangu Uhuru Kenyatta sasa najua mwangi kiu njuri ni rafiki yetu sasa hapa tutasema namna gani akaniambia wewe useme huyu mwangi kiu njuri tutamtafutia kazi na ndivyo nilisema nikasema msimpigie huyu kura pigia huyu mwingine huyu tutamtafutia kazi sasa maneno wakati ilifanyika sasa nikamwambia rais sasa unajua wewe uliniambia niseme maneno huko na kipi na sasa huyu mjamaa ni jobless sasa tutafanya namna gani so rais Mungwana vile alivyo akaniambia hapana situliahidi huko nikamwambia wewe utanifanya niwe muongo sasa wale watasema wewe ndio ulisema tutapatia huyu mtu kazi na sio mimi nilisema wewe uliniambia wewe ambia hii watu huyu tutampatia kazi <laughs> so i am sure that is why mwangi kunjuri today has a job because we are gentlemen <laughs>